Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest 157. Second question, longest arithmetic subsequence of given difference. So we are given a array and then we're being asked like the subsequence that can form an arithmetic with the constant difference uh, according to the input. So for example, on the first one, so the difference is one. So this is the sequence immediately, one, two, three, four. So the longest one is four. And on the second one, one three five seven so this is like a difference of two arithmetic and we've been asked only the difference of one so in that case um, the length will be one because only each of the number itself is the longest arithmetic with difference of one and see the third example so difference is minus two so subsequence means um, it's not a uh, contiguous array so here we can see five as seven 5, 3, and 1 is the longest um, arithmetic subsequence. So 7, 5, 3, 1. So we return a 4 in that case. So how are we going to solve this question? So we can do a map to remember um, what is the longest sequence we met before this character. So for example, like um, if we see a number 7, we want to know like before 7, is there a 5, right? Is there a 5 axis? And when we try to, when we found a 5, we want to know like it's 3 axis or not, right? So what we can do is we can uh, create a hash map to remember previous character we, we met and how many sequence before it. So for example, in this case, if we already have 5, when, when we try to find 7, we know there is a 5 axis. And how many uh, subsequence do 5 has before? So let's say it's a 2, right? So here we will get the three. So here, three comma one, because three is the first um, character we met, and when we met five, so we know there is a three with a longer subsequence of one. So when we met five, we update it to become two. Okay. When we met seven, we search for five. So we know five have longer subsequence of two. So seven three, and then that is our output. So um, as you can see here, we create a catch. And then we loop through the array and then for that array number um, the longest subsequence will be um, the array itself min minus the difference if that number exists before or not so if it's not um, we put a zero for the subsequence length and if it is then there will be at least one and then we plus another one there to the catch so after that we just loop through the entire hash map and we can get the longest um, the highest value from uh, for the fit in the hash map so one two three and then we get, we will get the three so in this in this case the uh, memory we use is um, at most o n for the catch so that's it thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest.